after 12 hours in the sky, we have officially landed in Doha Airport. We have about eight hours of layover time, so we're just gonna explore the airport and hit the lounge. Find the lounge yet? So there's three lounges in Doha that we have access to. The problem is, I don't know where anyone is, and we have to find them. I feel like with COVID right now, the airport is so empty and it's just like kind of awkward. I feel like I'm in the movie, The Terminal, where Robert Williams, I can't remember who's in it, but he lives in an airport. So he's always around when there's just absolutely nobody here. And that's kind of what this feels like. What is this thing? Mickey? We just walked all the way to the wrong side of the airport, Terminal E, and apparently all the lounges are near A, B, and C. So we were walking in the wrong direction the whole time. Time to turn around. Which may also be why it's so dead in here. Yeah, sure. I imagine there's going to be way more people where we're headed. I've You're used to like the hustle airport. and the bustle of the airport, and it's just like calmness. <laughs> a row table of MacBooks. They're not on them. Casual. International airports are so much better than domestic. Look at that architecture. Thank you. One in the morning, your boarding starting. No, no. The lunch, pack up your body. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow. All right, so we got our big seats. Yeah. Got full glasses of wine. We came back here because even though this lounge is huge, the upstairs part is pretty packed. And this area has no one and it's super cool. So we're just enjoying the fresh air, some delicious wine, and we're about to get a cheese plate. But this lounge is amazing. And there's two more. I don't even know if we should go to the other ones. There's a shower in here, so you could shower between your long flights, which is great. I'm gonna go take that after we eat a little bit, and then who knows what we're gonna do. So we got yelled at for filming in the lounge. There was a shower though, so I got to take a shower. But now we are going into a second lounge, which we're probably not gonna be able to film. So we don't wanna push our luck. But uh, this airport is insane. All right, so no luck getting into the Oryx lounge. We were told that we have to go back to the one that we were already at first, which is fine because that one's really, really nice. But we're back into the quiet area because we still have four hours to go before we're taking off. So probably three hours till we board, but we don't know where our gate is. So we're kind of just hanging out. Lounge access for long layovers is pretty crucial. Otherwise, you're going to be spending a lot of money getting food. And then you're going to be in congested areas unless you have a night layover like we do, where the airport's pretty dead, especially during this crazy travel time. But some credit cards do give you complimentary access. So keep that in mind if you're looking to get some travel cards, but I don't know. Well, we've already made it four hours, so I think we're doing pretty good. Yeah. We'll be going back to the lounge soon. Hopefully we'll get some work done and then the flight time will be upon us. We can get on the airplane and then finally to the Maldives because I don't know about you, but I am so excited. I am so just jump in the water there. Oh, I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, she's a pro. But for this flight, we're gonna sit back and relax. If you wanna check out what the Q Suites looks like, then head to our previous episode, because we documented the entire experience. Also, I was really excited to finish my movie that I started on the last flight on this flight. And I can't find it. It's a bummer. <laughs> Problem. We'll 
see you when we get into the Maldives. officially have made it into the Maldives. We're now looking for our sea plane transfer. And wow, that water is really nice. Oh. It's a little tight. <laughs> so we made it to the VIP lounge at the sea plane transfer airport. I really didn't know we were gonna have access to this, but apparently with the lead Meridian, you do. So they take care of the whole transfer experience. It's really easy and really nice. So, so far, so good. Super convenient. Our sea plane is supposed to leave in 30 minutes, so Kevin is having a quick bite before we get off. How long of traveling? 29 hours. 25 or something? No, probably like 29. 29 hours. We're finally here. Wow. Oh, this is awesome. Finally.